Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, today I am here to do a kind of a special episode, and that is about these things. There's one, and there's two. These are our new banners, and I have the artisan with us about that. Her name is? Hi, I'm Michelle Curry. Hi, Michelle. Come on, let's go over and take a look. I want to talk to you about what these are, so that let's get close and personal with these banners. So you can describe the detail. And so as you go to church this weekend, you can see them, and but you won't have to get real close because you will see them on the video close. So let's, let's go this way. Okay. So we're walking. These are big. So uh, look, I'm standing here, and if you look up, they are, they're big. And they need to be big because this is a big space. It is a big space, yes. So what, when it comes to like making a new banner, what were you thinking? Because we wanted, to, I think it was the idea to kind of start renewing some of the things, our liturgical stuff that we have. And as the liturgical arts coordinator, you decided to do an ordinary time banner. But this is different than the previous. And it's also, well, it's different in a lot of ways. So maybe mm -hmm. you can start with, mm -hmm. first of all, what were you thinking when you were designing this? Or what were you imagining when you were designing it? Well, I was trying to do something fresh and new. Um, and a little lighter. Those other ordinary banners are beautiful, but they're very heavy. Mm -hmm. um, and so as we age, uh, lifting those up to the ceiling is a little difficult. Right. Um, but just something fresh and new to, to change things up a little bit. Nice. So the images on here, let's talk about the images and then we can talk about how you produce this because this is unusual. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's kind of geeky. I kind of like geeky. Oh, yes. I definitely geeked out on this yeah. one. So talk about the symbols. I'm going to go ahead and as you talk, I'm going to kind of go up here and see if I can show them. Sure. Yeah. So I started out by taking a photo of the church standing at the back of the font. And I brought it into Procreate, uh, an app on my iPad. And I started just doodling lines. Um, following the architecture of the church, the lines of the furniture, kind of mimicking the arcing, you know, that you see, you can even see it just in this shot right here, right? How the altar and the ambo, they all have this arch in them. And I wanted to represent that in the banners. Yeah. And so I started drawing some lines and realized what was coming out was this cross. And so uh, in the beginning, it was four very simple lines that created this beautiful cross shape. And so I was working with that. Um, and then I brought that kind of doodle into Illustrator and started layering circles. So this is using, uh, you're using some software and a computer? Yes, this is all done on digital art. Yeah, on the computer. So I started on my iPad and then imported vectors into Illustrator. Mm -hmm. Um, She's talking tech here. Talking tech. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's very I like fun. Tech. I like church and tech. Those go well if, yeah. right, if you do it right. Yeah. 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 And I love using Illustrator. I use it all the time for fun. Um, so it was really neat to bring that, that piece of it into it. So Illustrator, I'm as a, a new, or not a newbie, but a, a simplistic person, but uh, Illustrator, think about it. You may have like a paint program on your computer and you can draw on it. But, this creates these lines. If you want to create a line, you can then use little grab points on the line on the screen and bend it in special ways, and it always stays perfectly smooth. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you zoom into like a, a paint program, you zoom in, you get pixels. You never get that when you're talking about vector art. Which yes. About. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is li you know full scale life size drawing on my computer uh, with no pixelation at all. So. Okay, so we have an image of a cross. Yes. And that's created by overlapping circles. So it kind of brings in the Holy Trinity logo, essentially, the three overlapping circles. How many circles, let's see. Oh, it's a lot more than three. I didn't count the circles. Well, ordinary time is green. That's the color that we use. Um, there's some turquoise, you know, the, the blue colors to, to pull in the blue from the furniture. Oh. So the blue pews and, and um, you know, the upholstery. I really, actually, it's one of my favorite colors, so I didn't mind working with that color. And then, you know, shades of green. So we've got, you know, kind of a Kelly green, a brighter green, an olive green. And then, of course, the gold uh, naturally was a good separator color. 
The cream color actually didn't come out until the very end. Originally, this was done in all greens. And I just, I didn't like it. Every time I tried to send it to print, I didn't like it. And so I would go back and redo the colors every Probably time. It was pretty dark, I bet. It was really dark and I just, it, it just didn't work. And one day I got up in the morning and dropped in a cream color, realized that it opened up a whole new level of symbolism. Uh, and that was, that was it. Well, so people, so today, it was this week, was it Monday was the first day people saw it? Uh, Tuesday. So we're recording this on Wednesday. So yesterday, and already we have people like, I see this and I see that. So great, everybody, but I'm always curious because this is my gig uh, when it comes to liturgical art is um, the more symbolic it is, the more we lose what it actually means. And you can make it up, but our liturgy is supposed to speak itself and you should be able to know what it is. So what were you thinking when you look at this? Qu clearly, I see a cross. Yes. I saw the Eucharist as well immediately after that. That's with the cream white color. Absolutely. Is that what that is? That is exactly the intended, uh, yay, it worked. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's the point. So yeah. if you ever go to a church, let's say, and you're looking at the art and you're like, what is that? Uh, that's probably where we start to lose. Because again, the liturgy is supposed to be, a good liturgy is supposed to be clear and noble and simplest and simple and communicate a message. That could be multiple messages, but yeah. I've seen stained glass windows that's all red and sparkly, and I go, well, what is that? Oh, that's the Holy Spirit. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? what? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, but so the Eucharist, happened. absolutely. That's what draw, drew the whole thing together, and then it was a matter of overlaying, you know, some, some finer details, putting in... Let's take a look at these. I'm not sure what you're looking at here. Uh, textures, you know, so this is something fun in Illustrator to... So this is printed on fabric, but we used fabric textures within Illustrator to represent fabrics. So there's, there's colored textures that are painted on essentially printed on so it feels like it's uh but it's yeah it feels like the, or it looks to me like there's uh yeah a texture that but these little lines yeah printed. that's printed yeah that's crazy i cheated wow. i cheated, <laughs> cheated. I cheated. <laughs> yeah no that's a beautiful thing uh so these are printed to see when i when chat about this i kept thinking about something that would be um cut with fabric and then sewn together there are, obviously there's stitches, you have stitches, so yes. there's these stitches here you got. You were mentioning something about that earlier to me. What's the oh yeah, so trying to figure out what color to use for thread, I decided um, with not much thought that it needed to be red. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a focus on the Eucharist, well then we are focusing also on the blood of Christ that mm -hmm. I, I thought it was symbolic in that it is literally the blood that stitches us together. So we used red. Wow, yeah, I like that. So yeah. have you ever done anything like this, this large or at all? I mean, to actually print on fabric? No, this was, this was a first. So there's actual places that have printers that can... Mm -hmm print fabric. Yeah, it was cool. I, I found it, you know, I, I geek out on my free time on Pinterest. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people may do that. And uh, I found this website called Spoonflower and you can upload any design you want and you print it on any fabric base that you want. We're not sponsoring. Sp I'm not sponsoring. Yeah. But we might put the, uh, <laughs> the URL in yeah. somewhere on the uh, yeah. coding here. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, it was just formatting and getting it to be in the right size. There's a size restriction, and so I almost had a moment of panic when I realized my file was too big to upload, but some tweaking in the settings made it just under, and uh, we got it. Press it in a certain way. Mm -hmm. was, yeah, okay. yeah. Wow. Well, folks, if you come to Mass today, or this weekend... When? 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 <laughs> when you come to Mass this weekend, or you happen to watch this on, the say, streaming, if you can't make the Mass, yes. note the banners. I think this is a, a wonderful example of artistry in its best. I'm biased, of course, I like what Michelle's doing here, and I uh, hope that you will as well. So notice these things. The art is intended to help us worship. Uh, there is a view that you need to see when we back it up. So let's do that and mm -hmm. let's conclude this thing. So we're going to leave this sanctuary there. I'm going to see. And there. Ta-da. Oh, there, right there. 
So, can you, can you see it? See, can you actually see it's like a host? Pretty cool. Well, folks, I'm going to be preaching this weekend. Please pray for me. And also, thank you, Michelle, for the wonderful job with the banners. I can't wait to see what's going to happen soon or next. Who knows what it will be. And I hope that you'll come here because we are looking for you to worship with us. God bless you all, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>